Hey everyone, it's Peter from the Yaw team and today we are testing the Project Car 3 sim racing game with the Yaw team motion simulator and again the Fanatec DD Pro set. It's gonna be just a simple ride on the Long Beach track with the with the default Nissan car, the Nissan GT car. And again, yeah, I'm always mentioning this but I'm not a sim racer. Don't look at the skills, look at the motion of the simulator, and look at the feedback uh, that I'm giving to you, and hopefully that will be useful. Okay, now first off, the motion, I really like this, uh, like drifting motion, where the yaw and the roll axis are combined, and you kind of feel like losing the like the back of the car so you, you really feel this drifting motion with the motion seat added to the whole experience I mean obviously the game is very good like this game but the motion adds a lot to the whole experience the acceleration force which I always praise in other videos is less prevalent here but obviously this is not as fast this car is not as fast as, as the cars that I drove previously in uh, in like a set of Corsa for example which you can check here but still I can feel some acceleration force deceleration or the braking force is is like very uh, that that's that's more uh, intense so you can feel when you're braking yeah, of course you can you can uh, set up different forces as in other games as well. So we have a very freely adjustable game engine. Uh, you can you can customize any of the forces, but I think this is a pretty good setup for a start. And then you can tinker for like hours to to see what's what's best for you. And yeah, again, these the slipping I like. And also, when you hit the when you hit the ball, definitely I gotta gain some speed and then do it. I I like the reaction of the motion seat that you you get some push from hitting it, like this one. And let's crash again. Let's try this again with a little bit more speed. Um, I I just can't get enough of this. And yeah, slipping. A little bit more speed and then try the crashes. And yeah, I'm, I'm getting this slight kick from the motion simulator, and it feels, yeah, it feels good. I mean, you're getting some feedback that man, there's a wall, and you shouldn't hit that wall. Yeah, you're getting this uh, even if you're just moving close. Yeah, it's absolutely great. There's one more thing I haven't talked about here, is uh, the feedback um, of the bumps. I'm having some bump on the track, I gotta check. Yeah, okay, the feeling is very good, like, I'll just go back and check it again. Okay, hitting again. And yeah, here we go. Even when you go slow, you can feel. I mean, inside, like here, inside here, you can feel it very realistically. I guess from the outside, it's it's not looking as abrupt as and as intense. But believe me when I say that. Um, yeah, it yeah it feels like I'm, I'm actually going up, and then it feels like hitting. So this is. I think this is perfect. You guys are. You guys are correct that it shouldn't be like a very intensive rap kicking me out of the simulator movement setup but this very basic one is perfectly good for this purpose now um, as I talked about it in other videos as well I really like the seat belt even with these relatively low speeds okay these bumps are again like killing it uh, with this relatively low speed I, I really like the feeling that it's giving to me that I cannot compensate with my body too much it, it pushes me back in the simulator a little bit so I, I feel that I'm actually 
on the road it, it adds a lot even though it's a small accessory so just to conclude a little bit here I applied a little bit lower or less intense motion in this game in Project Cars 3 but still it adds it adds a lot to the experience I like that the immersive experience contains the, the motion as well of course I have the force feedback from the fan attack wheel which is very good and necessary uh, as soon as I try to wheel without force feedback I realize that it's absolutely necessary but here the, the motions are less like big like way smaller the motions are way smaller less intense and whatever than in previous videos of mine but I think it's just as enjoyable or maybe even better and more realistic again this is a basic setup from this you can you can uh, customize your own setup to your own preferences your own taste but I think this is already very very fun to play and yeah hitting the hitting the balls is extremely fun you're getting these kicks from from the wall when you hit it and it's it's so good um, so overall I had I had really good fun with this game um, this is just a basic track and car in Project Cars 3 but I will definitely continue the carrier mode and, and learn some basic skills so that finally I can drive better on this road and talking about the motion yeah this is again one thing I really like the bumps yeah so thank you guys for watching again I uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh, and we will definitely be back with more videos in the near future if you have any feedback don't hesitate to leave a comment uh, feedback about future games future tests what other motions should I check what other car should I check whatever you need uh, just don't hesitate to reach out to us and leave a comment thanks all and have a nice day cheers